Uh, so Ronald sent us in this uh, more complicated version of an algebraic word problem, similar to the ones we've been doing, but it's got a higher level of complexity here. So just an assurance to those of you guys working on your GED, it's not likely to get this complicated on the GED. It would be more likely that we would have the simpler versions like we already have up on the YouTube channel. But I'll take a look at this here. Um, so I see this first fact. Ronald is 10 years older than his brother, Charlie. And then we see again, 20 years ago, Ronald was twice as old as Charlie. How old is Ronald now? So just like before, I want to start out this particular problem by with writing some expressions um, that utilize the same variable, the same letter. So let's take a look. We got two people that we care about and we're talking about their ages. So we're going to need an expression to represent Ronald's age and an expression to represent Charlie's age. Now notice, I see Ronald is 10 years older than his brother, Charlie. Ronald's age is being compared to Charlie. So let's let, whoops. Let's let Charlie's age here uh, be the mystery. That's the thing we don't know, so let's call Charlie's age C. Well, if Charlie's age is C and Ronald is 10 years older than Charlie, then Ronald is gonna be C plus 10. Is that cool? Now, I see 20 years ago, Ronald was twice as old as Charlie. Now, this is tricky. This is uh, the statement that's gonna help me write the equation that I need in order to solve this. Right now, all I have is expressions. You can't solve a mystery with expressions. You need to have an equation. Um, but the problem is this one's just a little complex to write. So let's deal with the fact that this is Ronald's age and Charlie's age now. If I wanted Ronald's age and Charlie's age 20 years ago, uh, that would be 20 years earlier than we are right now. So I'm just going to give myself another column. 20 years ago. Well, Ronald's age 20 years ago. Ronald's age is C plus 10 right now, but it would be 20 years less than that. And Charlie's age 20 years ago is C right now, but it would be 20 years less than that, okay? So now I have expressions that represent the two brothers' ages 20 years ago, okay? And now I can use those two expressions to set up this equation because I learned that 20 years ago, Ronald was twice as old as Charlie. So if Ronald is twice as old as Charlie, that means that I would have to double Charlie's age to make it equal to Ronald's. Let me say that again. If Ronald is twice as old as Charlie, I would have to take this age and double it to make it equal to Ronald's. So Ronald is twice as old as Charlie, so I'm gonna have to take Charlie's age and double it. I'm gonna times that entire expression by two. Okay, so notice there's Ronald's age 20 years ago. Ronald 20 years ago. And there's Charlie 20 years ago. But I doubled him, so now the two will be equal. Okay, and now that the two are equal, I have an equation uh, I can go ahead and solve. So let's do that. Uh, first, I'm gonna simplify this left-hand side. Um, C has no like terms it can combine with. But positive 10 and minus 20 make minus 10. I'm going to simplify this side uh, by distributing the 2 and multiplying that 2 through. So I get 2c minus 40. Now, next step to an equation like this, I have a problem with it. Um, mainly the problem is that I have a c on both sides of the equation. I can't solve something if I have a letter on both sides. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away this whole entire c term by subtracting c from both sides. And you might be thinking, well, why did she choose to take away that one? It actually doesn't matter. I could have moved the 2C as well. I just don't like negative numbers. So I was looking to not have a negative C. So on this side, C and minus C cancel, leaving me with negative 10. On this side, if I have two Cs and I take away one of them, I take away a single C, I'll just have a C left. And I get C minus 40. Now I'm almost done solving this equation. Oh, I said 40 and I wrote 14, y'all. You better watch me. 40. Okay, now I'm almost done solving this equation. Um, however, uh, the C is not alone, so I've got to move this C to be alone. So this minus 40, I'm going to add it. I'm going to add it to both sides of the equation. And uh, on this side, negative 40 and positive 40 cancel, leaving me with C. 
and on this side negative 10 plus 40 is 30. And so I just found out that Charlie's age, and this was our right now column if you remember C, is 30. Okay, but too many students just stop right here like, I solved it, I got the letter alone. Careful, this particular word problem doesn't ask you about Charlie's age. It says, how old is Ronald now? And we know Ronald is 10 years older than his brother. We said Ronald was Charlie's age plus 10. So in order to find Ronald, you're going to have to add another 10 years to this 30. I have to take this 30, add on the 10 years, and I find out Ronald is now 40 years old.